now coming to the second topic in inferences in bayesian networks inference by variable elimination so variable elimination why you are removing variables which means enumeration algorithm can be improved the first method enumeration algorithm can be improved by eliminating repeated calculations suppose you are performing repeated calculations 10 times 20 times for one variable okay remove that variable okay so no need to calculate 20 times 30 times just one time you have to calculate so by using that the time will be reduced the time will be reduced the enumeration algorithm is improved okay so here also same enumeration algorithm but instead of calculating the values for all variables you are eliminating some variables okay right simply you can say that you are calculating once and save the results for later use okay no need to calculate uh, 20 times 30 times you are calculating just once you can save the results if you want to show uh, use that results then collect it okay no need to calculate repeatedly right See here, in this equation, P of burglary is true based on the John Cole's Mary Cole's alpha. P of B is separated. You are calculating P of B. And you are calculating P of E <coughs> separately. You are calculating P of B separately. You are calculating P of E separately instead of calculating for all values. Right? Here you are calculating the alarm based on the burglary and uh, earthquake. You are calculating the John true for alarm. If you are calculating Mary calls for alarm true. Okay, just. So these two are separated. P of B is separated. P of E is separated. You are calculating only one time, not repeatedly. Okay. <coughs> right. So, coming to here, P of B, based on the John call, Mary call. So, P of B is separated, P of E is separated, and alarm, John call, Mary call are separated. Right? So, here, all these are divided into factors. This is factor 1 for bur burglary. This is factor 2 for earthquake. This is factor 3 for alarm, burglary and earthquake. This is factor 4 for alarm. This is factor 5 for alarm. Right? See here. For example, consider F4 of A and F5 of A. F4 of A and F5 of A. So, F4 of A is, what is F4 of A? John calls if alarm rings. F5 of A is Mary calls based on the alarm. So, P J J based on the alarm, Mary calls based on the alarm. Okay. So, see here, F4 of A is P of John calls based on the alarm is 0 0.90 as per the example. P of John calls, if not ringing the alarm, 0 0.05. Both are, both are here. One is not ringing the alarm, one is ringing the alarm. Here also same. For ringing the alarm, 0 0.70. For not ringing the alarm, Mary calls 0 0.01. This is one factor. In this factor, you are calculating one is true condition, another one is false condition. Here also you are calculating one is true condition, another one is false condition. Okay. Coming to this table, it's very easy. Observe here. Consider two factors. F1, factor 1 for AB, factor 2 for BC. AB, BC. Next, F1 into F2 is, I mean, multi, uh, multiplication. 
f3 of abc you are multiplying these two and you are getting factor 3 that means how many entries you are getting 8 entries 2 cube that is 8 entries observe the diagrams very simple ab first consider factor 1 ab so ab how many conditions here 4 true 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 false false true false false so f1 of a comma b for true true 0.3 for true false 0.7 for false true 0.9 for false false 0.1 similarly for b and c true 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 false false true false false these are the values now what are factor 3 values how to calculate factor 3 a comma b comma c for a comma b comma c means how many values here 8 entries 8 Okay, see here, what is AB here? True, true. What is BC? True, true. So, AB true, true, what is the value? 0.3. BC is true, true, what is the value? 0.2. So, 0.3 into 0.2, it is 0.6. Now, coming to the second one, AB is true, true, BC is true, false. True, 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 false. That means 0.3 into 0.8, 0.24. Similarly, true false and false true true false and false true 0 0.7 into 0 0.6 0 0.42 true false true false and false false true false and false false that means 7 4 0 0.7 into 0 0.4 0 0.28 false true and true true false true 9 true true 2 so now 0 0.9 into 0 0.2 0 0.18 false true true false false true 9 true false 8 okay 7 2 false 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 true false 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 true 1 into 0 0.6 0 0.6 false 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 that means 0 0.1 into 0 0.4 0 0.04 so that is calculation of f3 of a comma b comma c so this is the concept of inferences in bayesian networks next class we will discuss temporal models okay thank you